Hi everyone, so today I wanted to share with you guys a day in the life again with born and a toddler So I want to share with you guys their sleeping schedule So currently right now it's 10 in the morning um, So the baby is having a nap. He is now two months old um, And then my toddler they're two years apart exactly two years apart the baby's taking a nap right now So it will be his first nap since he woke up and today he woke up around like 8 o'clock. He usually wakes up anywhere between 7 in the morning and 8. Lately he's been waking up more closer to 8. But I think it's because we have been really busy lately. Um, we've been going out a lot. So he's probably a little bit more tired. But here he is sleeping. And then here is Anthony. Are you saying hello? <laughs> here is Gabrielle. He is just sleeping. Don't mind my heat press right behind him. Um, I'm actually going to going to start a small business, a t-shirt business, so that's something exciting coming up soon. He always falls asleep around this time, so he's awake from like 8 until um, roughly around 10, and then he likes to take a nap again, so I will let you know once he's up, but um, usually that's kind of how it is. He will sleep probably for like an hour, so this is the time that I eat breakfast. So we also started some yard work. As you can see, we have no grass yet, so here is how it looks like. It's a complete disaster. We are going to be finishing the stairs as well. Um, so that's coming and then hoping to plant some trees or I guess kind of more like shrubs. That's what I was thinking. So here is how it looks like before. and. Um, another time I can show you guys once we complete it to see how it looks like right, So this boy woke up Hello. now and he slept for about 20 minutes So his nap will be around that He doesn't nap too long during the mornings um, So it will be more shorter and then he will nap a little bit longer during the afternoon Which is great because that's when uh, this little boy goes Oh my god look at your face <laughs> That's when um, this little boy goes for a nap. So I'm going to change him really fast. He has a poopy diaper. Who has a poopy diaper? Poopy diaper? Okay. No smile for us. The sun is always shining right. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind the shika, and we are doing the same. Are you trying to uh, kind of plan their naps to be in the same time just so it can give me a little bit of rest um, at least even if they can sleep for like 20 minutes uh, you know that's of course amazing so actually sleeps really good during the night so I will put him down at like around 8 um, sometimes he's asleep right away sometimes he's not um, and then he will probably fall asleep within like 20 to 30 minutes but he's there on his own sometimes I just have to go in and give him a pacifier and just see how he's doing I don't pick him up or anything like that so I've been really trying to sleep train him since he was one month old and it's been working really really good it's 11 right now he is going to probably take another nap at around 12 something and i'm going to just leave him right here on the little bouncer because his nap is going to be quite short and then i'm going to try to put him down again at around um, 1 30 2 o'clock depending on when he, what time he wakes up from his another nap and then I will bring my little toddler Anthony for a nap at around 2 to 30. That's when he goes down. So I'll show you once this little one goes down. Right now I just have to carry him a little bit, which usually that's what happens, right? You want to be carried? And then I will attempt to clean a little bit because it's... Uh, I feel like I kind of neglected the house a little bit. It's not too bad, but... I feel like it definitely needs a more of a deeper clean because we've been out a lot, the weather has been nice. Today is not that nice, it's actually cloudy. But it has been nice for the past couple days so we've been out 
and coming back late and I just get so exhausted going out with the three kids so I don't really feel like cleaning I just kind of pick up on a couple things from the kitchen just so it's not too messy and that's it Gabriel just got hungry so I'm just nursing him right now I think he probably will take a nap it's a very I'm not sure what time it is but I will give you guys an update but he was hungry and we were trying to do a little tummy time but he does not like tummy time none of my kids liked it so it's really like kind of forcing them to do it um, he they just all always prefer to sit so but I know tummy time is really good for them so they're just watching some TV some cartoon on Netflix <laughs> it's always nice to get at least a two minute break so it's nice to have a an older child um excuse me daisy <laughs> she never really lied on this one this is the first time and she's like getting herself all ready to sleep she loses a lot of hair right now so it's not i'm going to have to run a lint roller on this one before i put down gabrielle but yeah Look at all of this <laughs> so we have hair everywhere so baby gabriel is going for his another nap again it's currently 12 o'clock and uh, i nursed him change his diaper i was still holding him but he was just starting to get fussy and he didn't want me to hold him anymore so um because i guess he's used to falling asleep like that on his own so um, as you can see, he will take his nap right now and uh, it's kind of quiet here so he will take his nap and then for his afternoon later nap I will bring him upstairs right now he can just sleep a little bit here and here is a clingy toddler Anthony is definitely needing of more he definitely needs a lot of attention and a lot of love I feel like um, he's not jealous at all of the baby he kisses him there's no like jealousy but he definitely needs his own time to um, he's only two so he's still very small but I find the most difficult right now is for us would be mornings he wakes up from a nap especially if both of them wake up from the nap like Gabrielle and Anthony because then Anthony wants to be just like this with me and then I have Gabrielle that wants to nurse and it gets really difficult then he will be just crying and uh, yes that's uh, that will be difficult moments for us he has this stain on his face and of course he just finished eating the ice cream so I need to wipe his face but that stain is we went to the dentist because he had a little bit of cavity dentist said the cavity is not bad um, it's just a little one so they did a little treatment with that fluoride toothpaste that's just antibacterial and helps to not um, and helps not to get the cavity bigger so it kind of buys us time because they definitely don't do fillings for such small kids because of course they could not going to cooperate but yeah he has this stain so uh, because he was moving a lot and he was crying so I guess he's just going to have it for a few days looks like it's coming off already I don't know if you guys have kids but kids dentists are just so expensive I I don't know it's just for me for me it's just so it's just way too much um, especially for tiny little teeth I understand it's their time and things like that but honestly like the treatment that fluoride treatment it was like hundred Canadian dollars and they literally used to like the tiniest little bit and that was just per one treatment so he has to have another treatment done and then after that they recommended to do it again in six months but I, I don't think we're gonna do it because I, I feel like that's way too much I feel like two treatments will be okay and so we will see so we are upstairs right now uh, he slept for about 40 minutes it's uh, like um, he woke up at around 12 so he slept it was like 12.05 
and then he woke up at around 12 40 yes so almost 40 minutes so now we are just upstairs hanging out in here yay he's going to be awake until um around two o'clock and that's when i will bring him um and put him in his crib his bassinet so now he's sleeping he slept there last night no problem so i've been trying to put him there for some naps i want to show you guys i bought a few things for oh, no. baby gabriel on h m yeah. they have super cute stuff and they've been having some sales so let me show you some of uh, the things that i picked up for him uh olivia and Anthony are just playing <laughs> under the crib <laughs> they're a fun place to be right now but here is what i picked up so if you like this like neutral style then definitely H&M is a way to go and they have really good prices so first thing that I picked up for um, Gabrielle is this little sun hat and the size I grabbed for him is 2 to 4 months it's really cute it's actually too big H&M sizes run a little bigger but I know this will be perfect for summer and right now when I let me just put it on on him it's a little too big but honestly it like protects his face from the sun which is perfect and then as I said he is just keeps on growing right so right now we just started we are like just beginning of May so by summertime this will be perfect for him and then is this really pretty like neutral color so it can go with everything so another thing that I got for baby Gabriel is this little like a jumper for summer and it's just super cute super soft <laughs> definitely go and grab this i think this one was about 12 dollars or something like that so of course really great price and it will go really cute with the hat if you're still in spring i picked up this for him as well um this is like a really neutral definitely for boys or girls and then it has the little snap buttons right here so for easy uh, so you can put it easy but um, this is the little top and then it comes with pants so this one was a set as you can see here are the little pants it was $12 or something like that I'm not exactly too sure but I know it was pretty good price and I also got him this little set it's like a, a waffle set so here is a little top and then it comes with pants so here are the pants and all of these I got in size 2 to 4 and I also wanted to get, get him like a hoodie or something like that I don't really like that this one has a hood on it it's not always the best especially if they are sitting in a car but this will be good for us going for walks and especially right now we are out a lot so um, it's just in this neutral color so it can go with everything and yeah, it looks really cute. I think this one was also about like 10 or $12. And this one is in the size 4 to 6 because I want the hoodie to be bigger. So it can actually cover his bum a little bit as well so it's longer. And since I was ordering online from H&M, oh, again, everything I bought was online. I don't, I never seen anything like that in the stores, but I also picked up these for myself and i think they're super cute they're really comfortable they are that style right now that it's you know just more looser so i do like pants to be more fitted on my bum but they are really comfortable and something nice to wear except of like joggers or leggings because that's what i've been wearing lately but here is and the color is really cute very neutral so it will go with everything and as you can see there not really like jeans but kind of a little bit really comfy and they have this like um stretchy band right here which is just perfect for my postpartum belly right now because my body is not fully back yet of course especially around this area my hips they still have to you know go down and just the body changes of course but yeah here's how they look like i thought i would share because they're really comfortable
me for sleep so both of them are sleeping it's 2 30 now I'm going to make some food for me because i didn't really eat lunch i realized i skipped lunch some life problems uh but i definitely want to eat i am hungry now probably should sleep for about two and a half hours two to two and a half hours usually that's how long he sleeps and especially because when um anthony goes for a nap it gets quiet olivia is having some quiet time too so Gabriel actually woke up, so it's been about an hour and a half that he slept. And then I went in, he still looked really sleepy, so, um, but he was smiling. So what I, um, I took him out of the crib and then I put him on the, on our bed and then I nursed him because his crib is in our bedroom. So I nursed him and, um, now he's down again. He fell asleep because initially when I was putting him down, he only nursed on one of the breasts because he was a little bit upset. I'm not sure why and what happened, but right now he's just sleeping right there on our bed. Right now is 3.30, so he should sleep for probably one more hour now that I nurse him again. So his tummy is a little bit full. So Anthony woke up, it's around 4 o'clock. Mom was here and she brought a lollipop, so at least he can sit by himself now but he's usually very clingy when he wakes up uh he's always just wants me to hold him but baby gabriel is still sleeping so this is good and he just i just gave him my phone so he can be occupied right now because i do need to start making dinner this is exactly how it looks like when he wakes up i have to be right next to him and just always hug him so sometimes just you know bribing him with some candy it definitely works hello Gabrizio. <laughs> baby gabriel is now up right so it is um 5 20 he actually slept a little bit longer usually he usually he will be up sooner than that but he was a little bit tired i think i'm going to take him and nurse him and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it gives you a little bit of an insight into how our days looks like with a newborn and a toddler i'll talk to you in my next one